InterSwitch SPAC is an InterSwitch Switch a Future initiative. My name is Ryan Okwara from Butula Boys High School, Busia County. My name is Samuel Barasa from Butula School, Busia County. My name is Barke Mahsen from Matuga Girls High School, Kwale County. My name is Desmond Tutu from Butula Boys High School, Busia County. My name is Gideon Taracha, Butula Boys High School, Busia County. My name is Kaspar Clay Nasoho. I'm from Butula Boys High School, Busia County. Welcome to another exciting season of InterSwitch Spark Kenya. It is undoubtedly the best STEM competition in the country. For this season, over 1,000 students participated in the qualifying test and only 54 made it and will be battling it out for the title of the best STEM student in Kenya. This season promises to be unforgettable. My name is Faith Miner and this is InterSwitch Spark National Science Competition Kenya 3.0, proudly switched on by InterSwitch. Never stop. Einstein, to raise new questions, new possibilities, to regard old problems from a new angle requires creative imagination and mark real advance in science. Which is why on InterSwitch SPAC we take STEM seriously as it is the bedrock of technological development. Innovations are made so that we can find practical solutions to the problems we face in the world today. For this season of InterSwitch SPAC, the qualifying tests were done online via the Crack CBT platform. This enables all the participating students to take the test from the comfort and safety of their homes or schools. 54 contestants made it to the second phase, which is the televised InterSwitch SPAC National Science Competition. InterSwitch SPAC is proudly brought to you with the help and support of the Ministry of Education Kenya and UNESCO, who firmly believe in supporting the dreams of the African child. Let's give them a deserving round of applause. <laughs> we have had tremendous success on the past seasons of InterSwitch SPAC. So all the students who participated give back to the community and come back as InterSwitch SPAC ambassadors. And they're very important because they have encouraged and also served as mentors to the students who will be in this season's competition. Let's give it up for the InterSwitch SPAC ambassadors. <laughs> On InterSwitch SPAC Kenya, there are three stages. We have the preliminary stage, the semi-final stage, and the final stage. There will be nine episodes in the preliminary stage, and in each episode, six contestants will be competing for only two spots at the semi-final. At the end of the preliminaries, we'll have 18 contestants having qualified for the second stage. This is the semi-final stage, which will be in three episodes, and in each, six contestants competing for only two spots at the final stage. Ultimately, six finalists will be battling it out for the ultimate prize and the title to be called the best STEM student in Kenya. So, what is the motivating factor? What are our contestants playing for? The prizes on InterSwitch Spark Kenya 3.0 are the winner of this season will be awarded a five-year university scholarship inclusive of an annual stipend worth 1.5 million Kenya shillings that also gets a laptop and a certificate of participation. In second place, the student will be awarded a three-year university scholarship worth 750,000 Kenya shillings, a laptop and a certificate of participation. And the student who comes third will be awarded a one-year university scholarship worth 150,000 Kenya shillings, 
There's so much to compete for here on Intersweet Spa and it is completely worth it. It is time to meet our Super Sparks. Matt will be right back for that. Hmm. Let me tell you a story. Our story blooms over two decades ago in a humble university dorm room where the weight of the dark put a strain on our hands, a stain on the sheet where we mapped out our plans, but innovation lit our eyes with a fire to blaze the trail, to change Africa. One solution, one transaction at a time. Our ears listened to the chimes, the buzzing tune of bright ideas. We stretched out our hands, and remember what we did? We flipped the switch. We flipped the switch, it was no ordinary motion. It was to herald a new notion. It is a champion's charge, your invitation to stand on our shoulders. It is your time for innovation. So go ahead, flip that switch. Build that business, scale that hitch. Africa's future is waiting on us. And what looks like the sky is only the dew. We are on the brink of something new. Because at InterSwitch, we never stop. So you don't stop. This is InterSweet Spa Kenya 3.0. Here, we celebrate individuals who have had great achievements in the field of STEM. Today, we acknowledge the works of Chebet Lesan. Have a listen. The need to create clean energy for low-income communities in Kenya inspired the establishment of bright green renewable energy. And what we do in Nairobi is we collect um, different forms of rubbish and we transform it into a charcoal briquette. Before the advent of bright green renewable energy, founded by Chebet Lesan in 2015, 36 million people, about 80% of Kenyans, use what Chebet tagged dirty fuel to prepare their meals. This kind of fuels have disadvantages to their health and habitat. With our fuel, mothers no longer have to inhale smoke. They no longer have to suffer from the respiratory diseases. Chebet Lassan is a graduate of industrial design from the University of Nairobi, Kenya. She is also a recipient of the Mandela Washington Fellowship 2016, Queen's Young Leaders Award in 2017, and the Global Woman Entrepreneur of the Year Award presented by the Global Alliance for Clean Cookstoves for her creativity in championing clean cooking solutions for low-income communities. Today, as our Spark Hero, we celebrate the remarkable achievement of Chebet. Great exploits. STEM is definitely inevitable in the world of today. It is now time to meet our super sparks. We'll begin with Samuel. Samuel, how are you feeling today? I'm feeling well. You're feeling well? Yes. Welcome to the competition, Samuel. Thank you. We move on to Casper Clay. I actually don't know anyone named Casper Clay, so you're my first friend named Casper Clay. It is nice to have you in this competition. Now we move on to our contestant, Ryan. Can you sing? Mm, not very really well. <laughs> All right, but uh, who's your favorite artist or your favorite song? Diamond Platinums. Diamond Platinums. Yes. All right, so which song? The one. The one? Yes. Could just give us a taste. Penzi ni shere, penzi ni ya vita. Gombani mpakani, siri yetu ya ndani. Eh, aga, na pombe stare, ni vitu vya kupita. Asa visi kuchanganyi, ukani shusha thamani. Ah, you are definitely a Diamond Platinum's fan. Give it up for him, he did try, yes? <laughs> and if you know this lyrics, it means you actually do like the artist. Welcome to the show, Ryan. Thank you. Now, from Busia County, we have Desmond Tutu. Just like the Desmond Tutu, yes? Yes. What is it known for? Uh, he was an archbishop in South Africa. Mm -hmm. All right, well, welcome to the show, Desmond. Thank you. And now we move on to Gideon, Busia County. Yes. So is that where you school or is that also where you live with your That's family? That's where I school. Right, but where do, you, where do you stay? I stay in Kakamega. In Kakamega County. Yes. How far is it from Busia County to Kakamega County? Approximately 50 kilometers. Okay, so maybe when I visit Kakamega County, I will take you as my guide. Welcome to the show, Gideon. Thank you. And now to the only lady on set today. She's looking very beautiful. From Kwale County, we have Barke. Are you the only student from your school? 
Yes. Yes, you are. Well, congratulations. It means you did very well in the internal tests and also coming to the show. So how does it feel being on stage? A bit nervous and I'm a bit excited as well. Ah, that is nice. So it's a mix of both. So how do you feel being amongst uh, boys? Excited. You're excited? Yeah. Well, that's a good thing. You're not scared. Yeah. Right, and uh, thank you very much, our dear contestants, for that wonderful introduction, and it's good to know you all. Right, so we have six contestants on stage, but there are only two spots available at the semi-finals. Contestants, you have an equal chance, but who amongst you will make it? Interswitch Spark Kenya 3.0 is played in two rounds. We have the foundation round and the advanced round. To our six contestants, in the foundation round, you have an equal chance to attempt 12 general science questions, each question within a 15 second window. Marks will be awarded based on an individual's accuracy and speed. For questions in this round, the first three contestants with the right answer will earn the maximum 10 points. Any other student after that with the correct answer will earn five points. At the end of this round, if there is a tie, the average response times of all the correct answers provided will be used to determine who moves on to the next round, which means you need to be fast as much as you're accurate in answering the questions in this round. The die is now cast, and all I can do is wish you all the very best of luck. Foundation round, question one. Chromosomes are usually located in the what part of the cell? Chromosomes are usually located in what part of the cell? Is it A, the cytoplasm, B, cilia, cell membrane, or is it the nucleus? I'll give it to Gideon. The nucleus. The nucleus. The correct answer is indeed option D, the nucleus. That's where chromosomes are located. Let's see how the contestants fared. All the contestants got this right. However, like I said, as much as you're correct, you need to be fast. So based on this as cause, you can tell that three contestants were able to get the maximum 10 points. Those three contestants earned five points. This is question two. Which of the following is dependent on the effect of gravity? Which of the following is dependent on the effect of gravity? Is it temperature? Is it mass? Is it weight or is it volume? I will give this to Ryan. Weight. Weight. Why do you say weight is the correct answer? Because weight is the push, the pull or push of the gravity in, a, of, in an object. On an object. That is indeed correct. Question three. Which of the following equations shows the relationship between the linear expansivity and the cubic expansivity of a material? Is it A? Is it B? Is it C? Or is it D. So this is a question in which field, Ryan? Uh, the heat, the heat from two. But which, this is a question in what subject? Physics. Physics. Based on the results, only Ryan Okwara and 10 points in this question and he's actually the only one who got the correct answer. But now if you didn't know, you know. Let's move on. This is question four of the foundation round. Simplify 1,200 divided by 0.12 and express it in standard form. Is it A, 10 to the power of negative three, B, 10 to the power of four, C, 10 to the power of minus four, or D, 10 to the power of three. And time is up. I saw all the contestants writing down. Brian knew it, it just seems that when you're inputting your answer, maybe the time went too fast because you do not provide the answer within the correct 15 seconds. With 10 points, we have Samuel Baraza. Congratulations on that question, but we have more questions to go. Don't give up hope. We move on to question number five. The diagram represents the longitudinal section of a what? Is this the kidney? Is this the liver? Is this the pancreas or is this the lungs? What is that diagram shown there? I'll give this to Barke. What's your favorite subject? Biology. Biology. So same thing as Casper Clay. I'm sure you'll be able to tell us. What is this in this diagram? It's a, the kidney. Based on the results, all the contestants knew this. A round of applause to them. That is indeed the kidney.
question six will mark the halfway point of the foundation round. Here it goes. N is an odd number and minus two less than N less than 12. Which of the following is a value of N? Is it two? Is it eight? Is it 11? Or is it zero? What is the correct answer? Based on the results, Desmond Tutu, you're able to get it right. Uh, was it guesswork or were you able to work it out? No, I actually worked it out. All right, please let us know. So the question says that if n is an odd number, so I just looked at the choices and the only odd number is 11, so I picked choice C. Ah, you made your work very easy. And that is indeed how you work out that one. 10 points to Desmond Tutu. Question six has marked the halfway point. I'll let our contestants take a breather. We'll be right back. Two decades ago, we flipped the switch, flooded the dark continent with light, created an industry, opened the doors that ushered in the future. Africa is emerging. Visionaries are evolving. But it wasn't always this way. Before the beginning, cash ruled the streets and crime was its aid. Africa was broken, coping with the darkness. Until we founded the switch and turned on the future. 20 years after, the dark continent is now bursting with innovation. And we're just getting started. Until Africa is borderless, limitless, we are never stopping. Welcome to the Odyssey, the first experience. The future begins today. You are watching Intersuite Spa Kenya 3.0. Before the break, the contestants went through six questions in the foundation round. Before we continue, our contestants, I'd like you to see how you fared so far. These are the total points and average response time for each one of you. We can see in first position, with 35 points, we have Ryan. Second position, 30 points. Third position, 30 points. Fourth position, 30 points. Fifth position, 20 points. And in sixth position, 15 points. It's a very close margin. Remember, the faster you are, the more points you earn. We have six more questions to go. The opportunity is still there for you to win and proceed to the next round. Here comes the foundation round question seven. What is the product of the chemical reaction represented by the equation shown? That is PbO2 plus SO2. What does that give? Is it A, PbO plus SO3, B, PbS plus O2, C, PbO4, or is it D, PbSO4? Here are the results. Indeed, the option D was the correct answer. Desmond Tutu earned 10 points, Ryan Okwara 10 points, Casper Clay 10 points. All the best in the next question. Question eight, which of the following is not a fundamental SI unit? Is it the Newton, the second, the ampere, or the meter? Which one is not a fundamental SI unit? Looking around, I could see most contestants input their answers even before the 15 seconds were up, but let's see how they fared. All the contestants uh, seem to have known the correct answer. Barke, however, what was the challenging part about the question? Oh, it was the time. It was the time. Or oh, you were not able to input your answer within 15 seconds. So remember, you need to input your answer within 15 seconds or it could cost you a chance to proceed to the next stage. Next up, we have question number nine. The absorption of digested food takes place in the large intestine, small intestine, the stomach or the pancreas, where does the digestion, the absorption, sorry, of digested food take place? Gideon, do give us the answer. The small intestine. The small intestine. Indeed, that is the correct answer. The absorption of digested food takes place in the small intestine. Ten points to the first three contestants who are the fastest and five points to the other three. As you can see, these are the results. Best of luck in the next question. Question number 10. If C is the center of this circle shown in the image, the value of X is? 
Is it 20 degrees, 15 degrees, 10 degrees, or is it 11 degrees? If C is the center, then what is the value of X? Okay, allow me to give this to Samuel. Do let us know how one can arrive at the value of X. So the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. Okay. Yes. So in this case? So there it was 88 and up there is 4X. Mm -hmm. So you take 88 by 2, you get 44. Then you take 44 by 4, you get 11. 11 degrees is indeed the correct answer. And Samuel has taken us through that very well. Thank you very much, Samuel. Here are the results. Samuel, the lover of mathematics, is the only one who earned 10 points and got the correct answer to this question. Two more questions to go. Contestants, that might just be what you need to proceed to the advanced round. Are you ready? Question number 11. Which of the following elements has the lowest fast ionization energy? Is it chlorine? Is it sodium? Is it sulfur or is it aluminum? Which of the following elements has the lowest fast ionization energy? Ryan, you're holding your mouth. What's, what's, what's up? Just mistaken. You are mistaken? Yeah. Okay, so you knew the correct answer, but you were mistaken. Yeah. Let us know what the correct answer is. B, sodium. B, sodium. Yeah. Desmond, do you agree? Yes. You agree that B is the correct answer. As much as you agree that B is the correct answer, Desmond, it seems you are unable to provide that answer while answering that question. With 10 points each, Casper Clay and Barke, congratulations, you got the right answer. However, as I said, it's a learning moment. If you didn't know, now you do. This is now the final question in the foundation round. Final question, number 12. The symbol shown represents what in a circuit? The symbol shown represents what? Is it a bulb, a wire, a fuse, or is it a transistor? What does that symbol represent? Barke, Marcel, I know biology is your favorite subject, but physics is also a science. Uh, what is the correct answer to this one? Uh, I think the answer is C, fuse. Fuse? What about you, Gideon? I also think the answer is fuse. Well, indeed, both of you are right. The correct answer is the fuse, and that is what that symbol represents. These are the points earned in that final question in the foundation round. With 10 points, we have Samuel Baraza, Barke, and Gideon Taracha, and five points earned by Desmond Tutu. Okay, that brings us to the end of the foundation round. It is time to find out who drops out of the race at this moment and who proceeds for a chance to make it to the semi-final stage. I must say, it was a close call. The two contestants dropping out of the race at this point, having garnered 50 points in fifth position and 45 points in sixth position and dropping out of this competition. Barke Masen, have you enjoyed the show? Yes. Well, don't worry, you're not dropping out of the race yet. Unfortunately, the contestants who are leaving this competition at this stage, we have Gideon Taracha and Kaspar Clay Nasoko. Thank you very much for gracing us with your wonderful knowledge and I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Kindly give it up for them. Right, here are your scores. They will not matter after this. However, in first position, we had Desmond Tutu with 65 points. In second position with 60 points, we had Barke. In third position with 60 points too, we had Ryan Okwara. And also with 60 points, fourth position, we had Samuel Barraza. Congratulations to our four contestants. I can see Samuel is smiling. How are you feeling? I'm feeling happy. Were they tough questions or easy questions? They were easy but challenging. Challenging, especially knowing that this is a competition and it is timed. However, you're four right now. I only need two to proceed to the next stage. Who will make it? We'll soon find out. It is Interswitch Spark National Science Competition Kenya 3.0. Hmm, let me tell you a story. Our story blooms over two decades ago in a humble university dorm room where the weight of the dark put a strain on our hands, a stain on the sheet where we mapped out our plans, but innovation lit our eyes with a fire to blaze the trail, to change Africa, 
One solution, one transaction at a time. Our ears listen to the chimes, the buzzing tune of bright ideas. We stretched out our hands, and remember what we did? We flipped the switch. We flipped the switch, it was no ordinary motion. It was to herald a new notion. It is a champion's charge, your invitation to stand on our shoulders. It is your time for elevation. So go ahead, flip that switch. Build that business, scale that hitch. Africa's future is waiting on us. And what looks like the sky is only the dew. We are on the brink of something new. Because at InterSwitch, we never stop. So you don't stop. for joining us. This is InterSwitch Back National Science Competition Kenya 3.0. Today is the very first episode. We started out with six contestants and now only four are left on stage. Qualifying will be two contestants, which means the advanced round which is coming next will determine who will drop out of the race. In the advanced round, our contestants you will have the opportunity to determine the subject areas from where questions will be picked. You will each determine five subject areas and then 10 questions in total will be pulled for you. That means two questions from each subject area. After you pick the subject areas, you will then have 45 seconds to attempt all the 10 questions that have been picked for you. If you cannot provide the correct answer immediately, you're required to say pass to save on time. If you pass or miss on a question, as long as your 45 seconds are still running, we will get back to those questions. Your marks in the foundation round do not apply here. Each correct answer will earn you 20 points. And I sure know that we can get 200 points from each one of you. If there's a tie at the end of the advanced round, we will break the tie going into the sudden end segment. Right, our contestants, it is now time to take a turn. The take a turn question will let us know how the order of play will be in the advanced round. The take a turn question for today is a puzzle to our contestants. In the puzzle, you'll have four items displayed on your screens towards the left and four items on the right. Your job is to correctly match the items on the left to those on the right. Here comes the take a turn question for today. Match the following numbers with their appropriate type. We have the number three, the question mark of 5.4, 5 and 54. The types are a prime number, an even number, a decimal, and we have a fraction. We already have a contestant who's gotten this puzzle right. Desmond Tutu will be the first in determining the subject areas and in answering the questions in the advanced round. Okay, all the contestants have managed to solve this puzzle today. We have Desmond Tutu going first, Samuel Baraza second, Barke going third, and Ryan going fourth. Desmond Tutu, you're going first. Are you ready? My name is Desmond Tutu and I'm ready to spark. Desmond, now is your time to spark. What type of motion has no definite direction? Pass. What tends to change the uniform motion of a body along a straight line? Pass. The phenomenon in which radiation splits matter into ions is called? Pass. What is the equivalent resistance of two 4 ohms resist resistors connected in series? Eight. The gas equation V equals KT is known as the... Charles law. Which metal is liquid at room temperature? Mercury. Correct. Solve for x in minus 4 into x Pass. plus 2 equals 16. Find the value of x to the power of 2 plus 9 when x equals minus 7. 58. Who was the inventor of the telescope? Galileo. Correct. When did Mzee Jomo Kenyatta die? 1978. That is also correct. Let's give it up for dance one, please. We now move on to the contestant going second. My name is Samuel Barasa and I'm ready to spark. Samuel, now is your time to spark. What is referred to as the powerhouse of a cell? Mitochondria. There are what types of blood cells? Three. The sum of minus 127, 57 and 10? Pass. Yes. 
The side of an equilateral triangle is 1 over 3 centimeters. The side of an equilateral triangle is 1 over 3 centimeters. The perimeter Pass. of the triangle is which element is represented by the symbol SN? Pass. Which compounds are formed when ammonia and hydrogen chloride are mixed together? Which compounds are formed when ammonia and hydrogen chloride are mixed together? Ammonium chloride. A round of applause for Samuel. <laughs> Barke, yes. you're going third. Are you ready? My name is Barke Mahsen and I'm ready to spark. Barke, now is your time to spark. Express the value of room temperature in Celsius. Pass. What is the name given to the temperature and pressure at which solid, liquid and gas coexist for pure material? Pass. How many types of teeth are present in mammals? Four. What process describes the destruction of red blood cells? Pass. If a sonometer has a fundamental Pass. frequency, an object weighs 21 kgs in water and 41 kgs in air. What is the uptrust exerted by the liquid on the object? Which ocean does Kenya border? Indian Ocean. When were the Portuguese expelled, expelled from Kenya? 1418. Increase 40 by one fourth of 20. 45. If a plane flies 120 kilometers per hour, approximately how many kilometers will it travel in five hours? This is the final 24. question. That is it for Barke. A round of applause for her. Ryan, are you ready? Yes, my name is Ryan Okwara and I'm ready to spark. Ryan, now is your time to spark. How many electrons are there in a hydrogen ion H plus? One. Which of the gas laws may be represented mathematically as PV equals K? Boils. The total number of bones in an adult human is? 206. Correct. The liver ex excretes bile pigment called? Bilivadi. How many countries make up the Commonwealth? Pass. The largest country in the world in terms of landmass is? Russia. How many teeth does, does an adult human have have? 32. The University of Oxford is located in which country? Britain. Simplify. 7 to the power of 5 multiplied by 7 Pass. to the power of 9. Which, what is the area of the triangle whose base is 15 centimeters and corresponding altitude is 6 centimeters? The area of a 45. triangle. All right, give it up for Ryan, please. We have come to the end of the first episode on Interstreet Spark Kenya 3.0. Two contestants have already garnered enough points to take them to the semi final stage. Who are they? We'll find out in a bit. Today marks the beginning of Interstreet Spark Kenya 3.0. Before the break, our four contestants attempted their questions. Two contestants have already made it to the semi-finals. Who are they? Before we find out, Desmond, I'd just like to know, have a feel of what you thought about the show today. Well, I feel maybe it's an opportunity for each one of us contestants maybe to nurture our interests in various fields of STEM. Mm -hmm. That is true. What about you, Barke? What was the feel of the competition? I think it's a great opportunity for me to be here. I get to learn a lot as well as showcase my talent and science. And you've done incredibly well showcasing your talent today. Ryan? I thought of the competition of being a chance to improve my public confidence and boost my general knowledge also. Mm -hmm. Ah, very eloquent speakers we have today. And Samuel, what do you think about the competition, even the final round? The competition was very good and it gave me a chance to express where I belong in the STEM subjects. And indeed you do belong. You are the future of this country and the world in years to come. I wish you all the very best in your next endeavors. However, as much as I'd like to take all of you to the semi-final stage, only two contestants have made it. With 100 points and proceeding to the semi-final stage of Interstreet Spark Kenya 3.0. Kindly give it up for Ryan Okwara. Congratulations, Ryan. You have made it to the semi-finals. Thank you. 
tying at 60 points and unfortunately marking the end of the STEM journey on Interswitch Spa Kenya today. Please let's give it up for Samuel and Barke as they exit the stage. It has been an absolute pleasure and I wish you the very best. Which means giving a sigh of relief on stage, Desmond with 120 points. You have proceeded to the semi-final stage of Interswitch Spa Kenya 3.0. Desmond and Ryan are very first contestants to qualify to the semi-final stage of Interstreet Spa Kenya 3.0. What are they playing for? The winner of this season will be awarded a five-year university scholarship worth 1.5 million Kenya shillings. It is so much to compete for. It has been an enjoyable commencement to the season. Thank you for joining us. Next week, we'll have six more students showing us their prowess in STEM. You do not want to miss out on the action. See you next week, but in the meantime, do follow us on our social media platforms. Thank you. InterSwitch SPAC is an InterSwitch Switch a Future initiative.